Hello and welcome to my current Acro Rebel project setup this 60p ADA tank. So now today is the planting and I want, just want to show you in four minutes how I do the planting. It's not very complicated but maybe I can tell you some tricks or some interesting things around it. So two weeks ago I just repaired these richer stones but I didn't have the time to set up the tank so I stocked them in a small terrarium. They grow a little bit and now they are ready to put them in the tank just uh, searching for some free space especially the bigger one more behind and the small and the medium one more in the front or in the medium section so as you can see there's not much space for the plants so i think i have i made 25 pieces 25 30 pieces of richer stones that's enough for the tank because it will be a dynamic tank, so I will cut the richer very uh, frequently and have enough richer later to add more. So, second plant and the only plant uh, besides the richer are Glossostigma. I just prepare them uh, by in vitro and add them to some free spaces inside the soil between the rocks. And very important also between the richer rocks because I my intention is to getting a richer glossostigma carpet. The benefit of the glossostigma is that they are getting the roots down the soil and keep the richer also down. So you're having later uh, mixed richer glossostigma carpets and uh, I think it will be an uh, interesting combination and uh, let's see how they grow together later. I also add some uh, glossostigma layers inside the sand in front, so there's no soil down under the sand, but I try to keep them also in the sand layer. So you see here in the front there's some glossostigma layers also in the front section. Yeah, and then we are ready for the water. I just add some kitchen towels on the layout. Uh, please, no toilet paper. This will end into a disaster. Make them a little bit wet. And then I start to filling the tank with tap water here. We, uh, the location is uh, a very good location in this area in Germany. We're having a key age from three to four. So very soft water and then it's yeah perfect for this tank. So there's a lot of different techniques you can use how to fill up the new tank. I prefer the kitchen towel technique because this prevents me really for um, that the plants coming up and uh, the water is always very clear after filling with the water. So that's all. I install the technique, the filter is running and uh, yeah, and that's the finish of this layout. So and one hour later everything is finished. The lamp is also on, actually only at 50% of the power. And uh, I start with only the six hours per day at the beginning from this tank. So and then I leave the tank five days alone and after I come it looks like this. Richer is growing, Glossostigma is also starting a little bit to grow and I think I must cut this tank also in the next two weeks because the richer is still going fast and that's all. So I will update you with this tank how it uh, grows and how it's developed and uh, yeah I hope you like it and yeah give me a comment if you want to see something more or something else and wish you a nice day. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Hello and welcome back to the 60p Aquary Bell project. Today was day 11 and a few days ago I just add some small algae snails inside the tank. So these little guys are really helpful to control the algae at tanks like this. So when I choose the richer as a main plant in this tank I was a little bit afraid that I have to cut them frequently. So now it's day 11 and I need to cut them the first time. Uh, in my opinion, there is no plant available on the market which is faster growing than richer. So anyway, uh, I turn off the filter before. I think that's better, especially if we want to remove the um, richer later from the surface. And beside the richer, I also cut some few of the glossostigma layers. Yeah, you can see here, 
that's the main job at the beginning when you are using a richer tank after the maintenance is to remove the old richer on the surface. After the cutting I made a small water change around 20 liter, remove uh, with the hose a little bit of soil from the rocks and to remove the water I using an extra long hose, a 1260 millimeter 5 meter long hose. This makes me also able to suck off the um, richer from the surface, you see it here now better. And it works very well and so I can use the net for remove the richer rests and also the hose. So it was just a very fast maintenance. The most important was to cut the richer a little bit that it's not growing too high at the beginning and uh, I think I will also add uh, this week the automatic dosing system for the fertilizer. So I just add today some micro and macro um, nutrients from Aquavel, the iron and, and PK a little bit just to give them the first start to growing a little bit more yeah, faster and more brighter. What I do also is to raise a little bit the light period. So I had before five hours per day and now I have six hours. And I also switched on the light to level, I think it's six from seven. So this is the number six volume from this Chihiro light. So it's only one more and then I have the full light. But I always start uh, with a low, lower light and not too high light hours per day. So this makes these tanks much more easier at the beginning. So that's all for today. This was the first maintenance on the 60P tank. And let's see how the plants will be developed in the tank and how often I need to cut them. I will for sure update you with the tank frequently and say goodbye. Bye bye. See you. Hello and welcome back to this wonderful planted tank. Uh, let me wait a second so I think it's better without algae. Today I just want to show you what you can do when you have some algae problems like I have here at the beginning at your tank. And it's very easy, you can solve this problem in only 30 minutes. So three weeks ago I set up this aquarium and the last nine days it was completely alone. I wasn't at the tank. And I also didn't know exactly when the algae is coming. And also interesting for me was to see how was the evaporation of the tank. So I can measure it now. There is 400 milliliter per day evaporation in this tank. So anyway, let's do the short maintenance. It's only 30 minutes. So the first thing I do is just to try to remove the algae as good I can by hand. And I combine it just with the cutting of the richer because it's still growing really strong. You see here I'm using a tool from the dentist to removing the algae from the richer. So anyway, cutting the richer makes more work than uh, removing a little bit the algae. Yeah, um, algae removing, cutting the richer and I try also during the water change um, to remove some of the algae with a hose. And if you maybe saw the last videos of this tank, you also see now the development of the richer. Yeah, it's a really fast growing plant and it's the second time I cut them now. And uh, yeah, it makes the much or it makes the most works when I'm doing the water change or the, uh, the maintenance of the tank is cutting and maintain the richer carpet. Yeah, and the last steps of this maintenance is just finish the water change and cleaning the glass inside a little bit. It's not so much dirty because we have also the snails inside. Yeah, removing some few algae on the richer and the rest is just uh, removing old richer from the surface. This, this is what I do the most time of this maintenance. And when the filter is running, I add the fertilizer here, the Aquaribel Iron, 10 milliliter, and also 10 milliliter from the NPK fertilizer. Yeah, that's all. This was around 30 minutes, so the water is clear and the tank is again algae free. 
So and the plan for the next one or two weeks is adding the virtualized automating system at the tank and also the first animals, some first shrimps and some nice fish I have to choose some. Yeah, that's all. I hope you like it and uh, thanks for watching and I will keep you updated for my rebel project. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to an update of my Aquaribel 60p project. Today I want to show you how I put in the first shrimps and fish in the tank, so which kind of technique I use. And the system I use here is the dropping system and the first step I install some um, air hoses into the tank and then I open the bags, I got my shrimps and the fish. And then I knot the end of the hoses to reduce the water quantity coming down from the tank into the bags. So, and uh, this makes that the water dropping very slowly from the tank into the bags of the fish or of the shrimps, so like you can see here. And uh, this is perfect for uh, it balance the pH and also the hardness of the water from the tank parameters and the uh, parameters from the fish in the bags. Depending on the drop quantity, you have to wait from 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes more, sometimes less. That is enough water from the tank inside the bags and then you can start to move the fish and the shrimps into the tank and my best experience I always had with the technique that I don't use the old water from the bags into the tank so I catch the fish with the net and put them into the tank. And after many years experience this is my favorite way to move new fish safety and gentle into aquariums. So, and now I show you what I add today. 25 small medium of these Amano shrimps, perfect for cleaning the richer because I still have a little bit algae problems inside the richer. Then two couples of these very nice Chinese gobies, uh, flame gobies, I think the name in English. And for the main part of the tank, these very tiny and nice Kupotai rasporas. Hard to film, but nice to look. So and before I leave the tank for the next five days, I have to install this automatic feeding system. And the most important always is that you test them before. That is not going too much feed inside the tank and also not too less. So let's see how the fish and the tank developed in the next few days and I will update you. Thanks for watching you and bye bye. Thank you. Hello and welcome today with an update about my Aquary Bell project, the ADA 60P. So after eight weeks now, I decided to change my Iwagumi into a real planted tank. So I didn't change the setup or the Iwagumi layout, but I add some new plants inside, especially stem plants and also some rare plants. So I just want to show you today which kind of plants I add into the tank. So let's go with the first plant, my all-time favorite stem plants, the Kuba Ludwigia. I'm really happy to use this in this tank. And beside are also plants I'm Hypophila Aguirre on the right part and also some on the left part of the tank. And for the additional plants I only remove a few of the richer stones from the layouts and the rest of the plants I just take the space between the richer rocks and plant them inside or between the rocks. So and for the first time I used this really interesting Inciata, the Cuba Ludwigia in the white version. Never used this before, so let's see how they grow. This Rotala Hura or Gia Lai, I think, I hope I spell it right. And we have the in vitro kind of Ludwigia Inciata. This is the Pantanal version, so let's see how this plant will develop 
in the tank. So, and then I go on with some three additional plants, more in the front or in the medium section. Uh, three different kind of plants in, from the in vitro culture. So the rest was immersed or submersed growing plants. Or cultivated. So this is Areocarlum cinerum, under the rocks or left and right from on the rocks. And also under the rocks, this very nice Putzerolandra Kedagang. And I also used the first time this Rotala Macranda pearl. So I'm really curious to see how they grow. So, and after the planting of the new plants, I install a second LED over the tank. This is a second 60 centimeter Chihiro of 65 watts. So we have a totally now 130 watts LED on a 60 centimeter tank. I hope that's enough light now for the additional plants. And in the last steps, I checked the fertilizer input. So I actually add uh, three millimeter iron, three milliliter um, potassium and nitrate in the tank. And I also installed today a CO2 check from Aquabel to control the right CO2 amount in the tank. Yeah, and that's all for today. So let the plants take over the control of the tank and I hope all the plants will develop well and I will keep you updated in the next days of this. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you.